Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro Video Countdown. Uh, first of all, an apology for the delay in getting this video up. Uh, I realise there's been quite a gap since the last video. Um, that's mainly due to the fact that I was uh, off uh, for a holiday in January and uh, I also got quite ill uh, after I got back from holiday. So uh, yes, it's, uh, it's taken a bit of time for me to uh, find a moment to put one of these videos together. But anyway, uh, we are going to be looking at game number 57 in this countdown and it's a game called Flying Fingers. Now, uh, this was an educational game that came on a cover disc uh, from the Micro User Magazine, um, Volume 4, Number 11, back in January 1987. And uh, yes, it was a game designed to uh, help people improve their typing skills. Uh, I actually owe a lot to this game. Um, I have a pretty decent words per minute uh, these days, and I, I honestly can date it back to uh, playing this game as a child. Um, it's, uh, it's a pretty fiendish game, uh, and it actually helps you improve your typing speed whilst actually being a, a fun game to play. So, without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at Flying Fingers. Okay, let's load it up. And as we shall see, uh, the micro user uh, magazine splash screen there, so volume 4, number 11. Interestingly, Flying Fingers wasn't featured on the cover of the magazine, as you will have seen in the previous screenshot, but there it is. Uh, it obviously came on uh, page number 71 in the magazine. So we shall select that and continue. Here we are. Uh, so here you go, uh, written by Ray Smith. And um, you can either just dive in or you can set the difficulty level depending on how confident you're feeling. But uh, I'm going to approach this as if I'm a beginner and we'll just see how far we can get with Flying Fingers. So it's uh, a game that I believe was actually coded in uh, BBC Basic. So no, uh, no assembly code here to sort of speed up the rendering of the screen. So hence the uh, slight delay on getting the screen loaded there. But uh, no, no, no fear. So here we are. Here's Flying Fingers. So it's my first word is air. Um, you can see our laser beam there in the middle of the screen at the moment, and as you can appreciate, the uh, the words are pretty simple, so uh, not a major challenge at the moment. Um, that energy bar, the red energy bar at the bottom, um, that basically is uh, your lifeline, so if you let a word hit the laser beam, that obviously reduces the energy um, by a fraction based on the number of letters of the words. So obviously, the longer the word, um, the more energy you use up. Um, now you might be thinking at the moment, well this isn't much of a challenge, these words are fairly simple, but uh, it does fairly quickly get quite uh, quite challenging. So uh, there you go, so that, that siren indicates that I've passed the first level, so you will notice that the, uh, the laser beam has now moved slightly further to the right. Um, and uh, the speed of the words coming is ever so slightly increased, although it's not quite so obvious at this early stage. But um, we will fairly quickly start to see that the game gets harder and harder. Now, also, you have to appreciate that you know this game would have been written largely with uh, children in mind in terms of improving typing speed. So, you know, I, I think I started playing this when I can't have been much older than about five years old, and uh, certainly then my my typing was nothing to write home about. Um, but uh, a game like this was, you know, it sort of turned the uh, the ability of typing fast into its own challenge, as <laughs> as the word said there. And you can see that the words are indeed starting to get a bit longer. Um, so we've got uh, oh, slightly uh, slightly longer words here. You don't get any penalty for hitting the wrong character, the wrong letters. So if I if I you know if I type the wrong letter in, in amongst uh, the the letters that I'm trying to fill in, it doesn't uh, doesn't penalise me for that. But uh, you do have to get them all in sequence, um, which can be a bit of a problem if the word starts to go into the laser beam because it becomes quite difficult to remember the point at which you've got to uh, correctly um, before it started getting uh, disintegrated by the uh, laser beam there. There you go, see the words are definitely uh, getting longer. Now you'll appreciate that I've played this game many 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 times so I start to recognise some of the words before they fully get onto the screen which is obviously quite a help um, when you get later into the game because uh, the, uh, <laughs> the space for the word to fully reveal itself is no longer available once that laser beam gets too far to the right. Um, I don't know exactly how many different words uh, there are in, in the game. I mean, it, it has a fairly uh, repetitive vocabulary, so you do see the same words cropping up um, quite a lot. 
Um, I think sometimes it also gets stuck in a bit of... Oh, they are. They're getting quite a lot faster now. Uh, it does sometimes get stuck in a bit of a glitch uh, and you, you get the same word coming over and over. In fact, I think I've had evaluation <laughs> just constantly come again and again and again. Oh, here we go. Um, actually, making this video is adding an additional challenge for me because I've got to uh, multitask uh, providing this commentary and typing at the same time, uh, which actually is a little bit more difficult than uh, just playing the game in uh, pure silence as I would normally do. Um, yes, yeah, so they had uh, they had a copy of this game at my school. Uh, I think that's where I first started playing it, and then, as was often the case with uh, games that uh, were at school, my dad uh, kindly made a copy of it, and we had it at home as well. Um, but yes, it came on a cover disc, so obviously it wasn't uh, wasn't something you could just go out and buy. Um, I should also give oh oh my goodness, that's a quite a quite an apt word desperately there. Uh, oh, hang on. I should give a shout out to Bill and Lee on the uh, Star Dot forums for helping me track down this game. Um, I uh, I had a, a bit of a hard time finding it because it didn't show up as Flying Fingers on the complete BBC Micro Games archive. Um, partly because it's uh, obviously you know nested inside a, a cover disc um, and not not released in its own right as a as a as a, as a you know a published game. So thank you, Bill and Lee, for pointing me in the right direction. Um, advertisement. There we go. Uh, now I, you're probably thinking, oh, you should probably just let one of these hit the uh, laser beam just so you can see what happens. But uh, fear not, we will reach a point where I don't have to uh, do that without meaning to. Um, oh, oh, there we go. So find the keys on my laptop are actually not quite as responsive as the sturdy old keys on my uh, my original BBC Micro Model B. Um, you really knew that you were pressing a key on one of those, um, whereas these sort of slightly soft keyboards that you get on uh, laptops are uh, a bit, bit different in terms of their response. Um, I'd say the sound of the laser beam does get a little bit annoying after a while. I mean, it's just this constant monotonous sound of uh, laser. Ooh, ooh, efficiently, there we go. Comprehensive. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> so you see, the problem once that happens is it's almost impossible to uh, type the remaining characters because the game expects them in sequence. So just typing the letters that you can see um, after some of them have been eaten up by the laser beam won't work. Uh, oh, dodecahedral! My goodness! Investigator. This. Uh, Assemble. Oh my, that's a very technical word. Respectively. Um, oh, and again. Yeah, so it's obviously got a. Oh, uh, I almost thought I was done for there. Deck, uh, he, yes, once you start to recognise the words, obviously it definitely helps you at this point in the game because otherwise uh, you uh, don't, you can't see the word before it's sort of made its way on. Oh wow, is it going to move again? Gosh, it is. Well, I really haven't got a lot of space to manoeuvre here. Uh, approximate, there we go, respectively. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think you'd have to agree for a, for a little cover disc game. Um, it's it's not at all bad. Uh, I'm, I'm sure some people will feel that I've been a little overly generous, uh, given that it you know it's beaten the likes of Revs and, and other sort of commercial uh, commercially published games, but. As I said at the beginning of this series, I, I feel that the sort of educational aspect of the uh, of the Beeb um, needs to be given, you know, a fair hearing. Oh my goodness! Respectively, multiple times in a row. Oh, that's all I'm getting now. Respectively. Wow. I think it's hit the. Uh, I think it's hit. I think it's hit the glitch. That really is it. It's just just respectively all the way down now. Uh, <laughs> Well, that, oh, it kind of makes it unfair, uh, or rather, I mean, too too easy for me if it's just going to give me the same word every time, because, oh, I was going to say, because I'll be able to type it almost before it turns up. Wow, there really is no space here at all. Um, yeah, I do hope that you'll uh, you'll go and hunt this one down. Um, if you can't find it, do go and have a look. Just search for Flying Fingers. Oh, ah! Just go and search for flying fingers on the star dot forum. Oh dear. 
uh, and you'll find the uh, the forum post uh, that I wrote actually asking for help in uh, tracking the, the game down. And uh, you'll you'll find oh my goodness you'll <laughs> you'll find a download link uh, to uh, oh no that's it to get hold of the game. Um, well, there you go, game over. Uh, I've got up to level 12 there uh, with a score of 11,870. So uh, that's not not too shabby. Um, yes, yeah, so I think the fact that it hit the glitch there at the end and just kept repeating the word respectively over and over again slightly took away the uh, the challenge of the game. But uh, here you go, you can't uh, you can't have everything from what is effectively a, a cover disc game at the end of the day. But yes, that's Flying Fingers. Um, hope you've enjoyed that video. And again, apologies once again for uh, the delay in, in getting the video online. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to follow up with the next video in the series uh, without uh, nearly two months <laughs> elapsing in between. Uh, but until then, um, I uh, thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.